Um, you're at the kitchen. This is a part of the second Saturday's Oxnard's Art Beat um, in downtown Oxnard. Um, specifically, you're at the Splice Show brought, brought to you by Pistol Productions. And uh, the theme of the show is basically a collaborative show. So every single piece that's here, about 15 pieces, is made by two or more artists. And we have all kinds of mediums from stuffed animals and, and fabric to leather, leather pieces and, and, you know, string. And we have a mirror, pinstriping, acrylics, oil, photography. Um, so that's about it. All from local artists. and we've been here for uh, four months and um, it's a little bit of everything from the 30s to the 80s and a little bit of contemporary uh, 21st century but uh, the main thing here is we have ladies that are involved in this project that have a passion for antiques and collectibles and by looking at everything it's definite, definitely going to substantiate what I just said a little bit of everything there's Marilyn there's an original, uh, not original, it's a poster uh, of Lucy stomping the grapes. Um, this one I like because this is Creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay, there's Clint back there and Shirley Temple and John Wayne. And I got a little bit of J-Lo over there. There's a 21st century. And I would love to say that J-Lo actually wore that fur coat, but she did not. Everything's cool. Everything's really nice. And I invite you to come in and see all the other treasures that we have. Um, can, I, can you show me a little bit? Can you give me a tour? Absolutely. Johnny D? Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was Johnny D. <laughs> <laughs> You're Tony D? Yeah. Come here, honey. Tony D. Tony D. We've got one vendor here who's been doing it. Most of us, like I said, a passion and a love for antiques and collectibles. And there's like 10 of us ladies here that rent space, and this is the owner, uh, Rosemary Pace. And of course, we're part participating in the Art Beat. We, we think highly of downtown Oxnard, therefore we strongly participate. And we have vintage jewelry. We have seven cases of vintage jewelry by each uh, vendor. And here's Monica. She's one of the vendors here. Hello. Yes, Monica. Uh, newspaper. And uh, this is her personality demonstrated here. And she, she, I like to think she has like ele elegant items. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a ham. So our other vendor, Judy, this our customer. <laughs> and your name is? Therese. Therese. Uh, Therese? Therese. Very pretty. And what makes this store unique, Tony D, did I get it right? What makes this store unique is that we give a personal touch to each customer. To me, I like to think they become our friend and they come back again. Even if they don't buy anything, it's to come and say hello and look at beautiful things because things change all the time. We sell something, something else comes in. So here's another vendor and she's been doing, she's been doing it for about 35 years and her, her merchandise represents that, as you can see here. She's got like really, really collectibles, 30s, 40s, 50s items. So you can tell this lady's been doing it for a while. And here's another lady here. And she rents this little space here. And she has a fine touch again for antiques and collectible. And this is my corner. And I'm very, very proud of it. This is my personality. I like to collect angels. I, as you can see up front, I do a little bit monster thing, so I like a little bit of fun stuff too. Okay, and uh, I do um, uh, religious. Um, that's the Virgen of Guadalupe. I found her at a. They do have antique shops in Mexico, in Jalisco, and they were having an estate sale, and 
in Jalisco, estate sales are called bazaars, and that's where I found the Guadalupe, Virgen de Guadalupe, and she's very, very old. And this is a, another religious picture, and this is Jesus as a child. I loved it when I saw it, and to be honest with you, I'm not Catholic, so I didn't know what it, what it was. I just loved the picture. And uh, the owner, Rosemary, told me that's Jesus as a child. And, and sure enough, on the internet, it, it, it is. So this is my personality and a uh, little bit of everything. I, most of us like the teacup scene. Okay, we do the teacups, we do the teapots. Um, and I have a customer that loves albums, so I bring him an album a week. And he usually, he usually buys an album for me. He likes disco. So I have him here, and he comes in, and he'll buy one. So that's one of my customers that's been coming in for a couple of months now. Okay, and what else do I have here? Uh, that's that's a famous uh, painter here, um, jo John Van Meer. And originally I had this, this little one here. It's a little um, plate and it's the same painting. And when I was in Mexico, I found that at an antique shop and I couldn't resist bringing it back with me. And I get really, really educated when I find these things. I like them, I buy them, plus I've had a lot of this stuff. And then when I research them, I go, wow, I learn a lot. It makes it even more interesting. Come this way. And we've got another vendor here, and she has a very, very good eye for, um, again, picking out beautiful things. She has another elegant touch to her. Okay, she does the crystal thing a lot. Um, as you can see, the, the what is it? The weights of justice. Those are, are quite beautiful, and we have reasonable prices on on all our items. And this room speaks for itself. Look at it. This lady's been doing it for a long time too. She's one of the other vendors. And I'd like to take you over to the the lady of the house. Come here, Rosemary. Good evening and welcome. This welcome. is the owner of my sister's closet. And I'm going to hand this lady over to you. And I welcome you to one of the most beautiful stores in Ventura County. I personally have been in business in Ventura County for over 25 years. Happily the founder of the Salsa Festival for the city of Oxnard. And also prior owner of the Holiday House in Heritage Square. Also happily, I've been joined in this beautiful establishment at 535 South A Street with all of my staff that used to be with me at the Heritage Square location, Holiday House. I welcome one and all to a showcase that makes Ventura County as beautiful as she deserves to look. I thank you for being a part of our evening. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I just got back from the LA uh, Art Walk. I was like, man, they had like 20,000 people over there. Yeah. It's like, boy, we're going to... I mean, I believe we have good enough artwork to do that, but they have a lot. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it was like, it was on... And they were just lining up just to see art. Yeah. It's like, we could do the same too, but we just got to push it. Yeah. But anyhow, can you tell me what, what's this all about? This is Art's Most Wanted, and this is an art show featuring local artists. Um, it's basically um, they brought in their best work, the what they really thought they put a lot of time and effort into it, and um, yeah, there's several different artists here. Um, what else? Did you can you show me what, what this is all about? I mean, can you show me the different artwork and different artists? There's different artists with different styles. There's there's William PC, which are tattoo artists from Fillmore. The, there's Sal uh, from Oxnard. And then we've 
Gala from Oxnard as well. And then we have their bios. So you get to know a little bit about the artist. And um, there's their bios on the wall. And this is Veronica Pantoja. Veronica Pantoja? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, there's so many murders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this is... This is um, another local artist, Ray Cirero. And that one's Jairo. 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 Jairo.
And with that, I would like to um, hand the microphone over to Stacy Roscoe, who is president of the Carnegie Art Museum Cornerstones, to um, deliver a very special thanks. Thank you very much. Actually, it's a, it's a, I have the privilege of giving a couple thanks here because we have our uh, McNish family sponsorship for the uh, exhibit tonight. And this was a very generous donation to, to help help the museum bring the type of quality that we uh, are getting more and more used to here. Uh, there's two thank yous. One of them, uh, because they, the, the McNish, McNish family uh, is making the donation in honor of Juanita McNish away a couple of years ago. And uh, so it gives us an opportunity to recognize her. She was one of the original founders of the uh, uh, Carnegie Cornerstones. Uh, she was a rock of common sense and uh, just a lot of fun. Um, and she was with us, you know, uh, through all the growth and development of the museum. And so we, we miss her terribly and uh, uh, it's wonderful to be able to, to honor her. Second thanks goes to Dick and the family. Uh, for having Dick participate now on the Carnegie. Uh, this is, uh, uh, Dick has now joined us as the treasurer. And one of the great things for us on the board is that he has brought some of that hard-nosed common sense and fun that seems to be a kind of a family, uh, it's in the family genes, I think. And so uh, it really has, has helped to bring back some of that that we lost with Juanita. So, uh, it's a great night to be able to, to recognize the conditions as they have uh, served the museum as they have. And uh, we thank for, you know, every day for the time we did have with Juanita. And we look forward to a long uh, association with the conditions. So uh, thank you, Dick, very much. And uh, all right. And the last thing I do is pass to Tracy Hudak from the Downtown uh, Association just to let you welcome you to the, the tour tonight. Hello, welcome. Um, some of you might knowingly be participating in Artbeat and others might be doing it unknowingly. And I just wanted to tell the unknowinglies a little bit about what's going on this evening. The second Saturday of every month in downtown Oxnard, we have multiple art openings happening in galleries, guerrilla galleries, restaurants, uh, things like that. Restaurants are offering music and entertainment and whatnot. And this will be happening monthly, uh, on a monthly basis. So the, the um, concept behind it and the intention and the hope is that you come downtown, park your car, walk and explore. And enjoy all that downtown Oxnard has to offer. And if you're interested in making something happen during an RB, please feel free to come find me. I'll put my cards on the table and I'd love to hear from you. And um, at 7 o'clock next door, we're having Bubble Palooza, which is a bubble blowing flash mob in Plaza <laughs> that will benefit Goings Children's Museum. Um, if you want to have a walk around with a smile on your face and blow bubbles the rest of the night, um, I encourage you to come on by. So thank you and welcome. And if you haven't already secured a map for yourself to find out what's going on around, feel free, they'll be at the, at the table. And um, if you are giving your address and wish to receive our beat emails, I think Suzanne, Suzanne and I have a deal about that. So, thank you. <laughs> that at 8 o'clock here, uh, the museum is a site for one of the um, theater skits by um, Teatro de las Americas. So that's kind of fun. They do a um, Spanish presentation with an uh, English libretto. It's a, a short excerpt. So there's lots going on in downtown Oxnard. Thank you all for taking this break. And please meet the artists, enjoy yourself, and become a member of the Carnegie Art Museum. Good night. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're here at the uh, Carnegie Art Museum in Oxnard, and uh, this is my brother Benjamin, and my name's Sean, and we have a, an exhibit here called The Brothers Anderson. I, I've noticed your work. It's um, somewhat tropical. Where did you get all these images from? Uh, most of, of my work uh, comes from a few experiences that I've had uh, in Bolivia, in South America, in Northwest Bolivia. And uh, I did a couple health aid projects down there, <clears throat> and um, and also did an artist in, artist in residency there. 
Uh, so this is kind of, this work is my kind of reflection of that time, the time that I spent down there. So. Now, is there a reason why you picked these particular colors or is that just what you had to work with at the time when you were doing these pieces? Uh, me? Uh, the color, yeah, the color is kind of, um, uh, you know, I, I saw all those colors being influenced or being introduced into that into the third world environment there. Um, so it's kind of this mix of contemporary life here, Western world culture, and the third world environment. So it's kind of the commentary that that happens between that bridge of the two. So now is now is yours a little different? I, who has a I'm the portrait <laughs> artist. Are oh, you the portrait artist? Uh, in some respects, um, and Sean does the uh, neon. Oh, okay, he did the, the little um, dioramas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That was, that was really great. And so you did most of the, uh, was that, what was it, oil or what was that? Uh, they're uh, traditional oil paintings with wax poured over the top of them to put, push back the painting a little bit and make them a little more about a painting than a portrait. That's the kind of goal through those, all the works inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we, we contrast off each other really well. I mean, I use some of his color palettes, and um, Sean uses some of my ideas, and we, we do a lot of collaborative work together. The, one of the uh, Dalai Lamas in there is one of our first collaborative works from 2001. So um, we're obviously our own individual artists, but we also work together on uh, projects a lot. So you guys pretty much travel together when you guys do work on your projects, or? Uh, we, we'll show separately, but um, every once in a while we'll get opportunities like this to show together, which is amazing. We're really stoked to have this show. It's just that I know, I we've like never really know. seen all of our work up together like this and, and contrasted, so stoked. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> do you have a website where people can get in touch with you, um, you personally, where they can purchase or get in touch with you? Yeah, we've got, um, my website is seananderson.com. It's S-E-A-N-A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N.com. And that's got all my work on it. Uh, Benjamin's got the same site. You want to see your site? Ben BenjaminAnderson.com. <laughs> and then we also have, we run a gallery in Carpinteria, California. We represent uh, contemporary artists. We're the curators, so um, we have fun doing that. And that's AndersonArtCollective.com. So three websites to remember. Excellent. Um, is there a way... Um, you can tell me about your next upcoming projects. I mean, what, what do you have next in store? Uh, next one is uh, Orange County Museum of Art. Uh, we've got uh, the 2011 Home Show. Sean and I are both going to be in one of the uh, featured homes in Orange County. So that's coming up the 15th of uh, October. And uh, yeah, that's the most recent one. Some of the upcoming. Excellent. Well, I definitely appreciate coming down to Oxnard, and thank you for coming down here and great work fantastic thank work God. I'm astonished thank you Cheers. I mean Saturday's um, function also it's um, a launch party for Society 805 and we also have a new arts and culture section and it's introducing Eric Rill as a new arts editor and actually this is his work here at the gallery today so it's just to introduce everyone to the community um, is this the first weekend here at this facility or has this been going on? Um, actually, this is the second time for markings for Eric Grill. I think this is the fourth month that the second Saturday has been happening. Brand new. So, fourth or fifth. I'm not exactly sure. But this is our first time here at Society 805. This particular series, uh, I sort of had a breakthrough in 2009, and I've been building this body of work in 2009. I, um, everything in here, though, in this show today, is, was done in 2011. It's been done since February of this year, so the last five, six months. This is not all of it. I had a uh, show last month that had 25, 24 pieces. This one has a dozen. And all these pieces were done within the same period of time. And I still have more, and I'm going to have a, uh, it's a three series show that are culminating in November at Art, in um, Vita Art, in the Bell Arts Factory in Ventura. That'll be the third show, and that'll be the culmination. That'll be a little bit larger work. Smaller show, but larger pieces. How can people get in touch with you to see more of your work? 
Um, the best way to do it is a site. It's Eric Real, so it's E R I K R E E L dot com, and that site has constant stuff. I also have a page on Facebook under Eric Real, but the site EricReal.com, well, you can always see work there, and and there's ways to get in contact through that. Great, I appreciate it, sir. Thank you, and I wish you a great day. Okay. Thank